got a juicy something for you today. everyone alpha marina here and i'm back from the dead hooray preparation for today's video i asked a question on my story asking about assumptions people have about artists art even when a couple like discords for art people to ask them about assumptions about artists and boy did you guys deliver so without further ado let's get right into it One art isn't expensive. Just like anything else, art is a craft and you just have to keep working at it in order to get better. You don't expect to just start drawing on day one and then day two you draw something as amazing as the Mona Lisa. Like, that's not how it works. You have to put in time, effort, blood, sweat, tears, blah 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 in order to like get to where you want to be. And trust me, that is hard work. And you're gonna work your butt off trying to get there. So next time someone asks you why your art is so expensive, like don't price your art down if it doesn't take that long to make. It like I literally make prints of my art and they're so cheap I get them done at a FedEx nearby. But if it's an original, like don't be afraid to price them a little higher than your prints, you know? So good! How do you get so good and I'm so bad? Probably not the only one who gets annoyed by comments like that because people sometimes don't understand just how much work and effort it takes to get to where they are in their art journey. And art is definitely not easy. It's a huge commitment. And if you don't want to do art, you're just here for like the whatever, the clout or whatever. Why are you even doing art in the first place? Like you gotta do something that you're passionate about. And if you're passionate about something, it doesn't feel like work as much, you know? You. This character looks like X character. I, that bothers people, but it personally doesn't bother me because I haven't encountered it that much. And there's some people that are like, character looks like this character in existing media. Therefore, it's probably a riff off. I know about that. Me too. Number three, art happens in a vacuum. Uh, no. Truly original. As far as I'm concerned, everything is inspired by something or someone or an event or whatever. Something happened and someone took inspiration from said in events or whatever and they decided to create something out of it, you know? I tend to create characters that are based on like a lot of things, based on real life people I know, based on like what I want to see, based on what something else, blah 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 blah. I'm going to take my character Addison, for example. Role in my work in progress, King's Court from 2017. She's pretty much like the mean girl, but I decided to invert that trope. You know, like the stereotypical A-list hot chick that's like on top of the school hierarchy. She was like the queen bee. Think Regina George from Mean Girls. Yeah, and totally invert that. Take everything about the popular girl and make it the opposite. That's what I did with Addison. You know, George in Mean Girls is popular and on the school popular clique, she's very like popular. People know who she is. They know she exists. They want to be her. Addison is like the bottom of the school hierarchy. Like she's like kind of a loser, kind of a unlikable person, kind of a horrible person and I would go on and on and on, but I would probably get demonetized. <laughs> get back on track. Taking parts of a character, parts of another character, taking parts of another character, and incorporating them into your own little OC, like a little mixing pot or whatever. That's fine because you're taking parts of an OC and make them into something else, put your own twist to it. But what's not okay is taking one character and making a character based on that character and changing very little about your character. That's called plagiarism. And yeah, if you remember anything about those plagiarism talks in high school English class, yeah, you probably know. Four, family members think they're entitled to a drawing from you just because you can draw. Oh my god, this bothers me so much. Right here, 
Just because we are artists does not mean we owe you anything. You're not entitled to any of our products. If you want any of our products, you gotta buy them, at least commission us if we're taking commissions. But don't just go up to someone and ask them if they can draw you for free. Uh Uh-uh, not how it works. Art is money. Art costs money. And it's a long time to get to from point A to point B in your art journey. I said that in point number one, pretty much. Number five, having an art degree is useless. So I've noticed in my life that there is a lot of stigma against certain majors, like art majors, for example, in my experience. And my mom wasn't always this supporting, loving parent that I have now. But back then, she was just not supportive. She just thought it was a waste of time, me drawing and wanting to pursue it as a career or whatever. It was a waste of time. And it was very disheartening, you know? I was initially shocked when I changed my major from elementary education to art. And then she kind of came around, started to realize I was a lot happier, so she kind of let it be. And she's encouraging me to pursue a master's degree in art teaching. Hopefully I get in because it's hard. But thing is, I'm just trying to tell you that you can't just force your kids to do something they don't want. They're going to resent you for the rest of your life. And if there's still time for you to rebuild that relationship and to like not force them into something they don't want to do, try to understand where what they're passionate about and support that, then that goes a lot farther than just forcing them into something you want to do for whatever reason. Six, stigma against anime and manga. This literally makes me so mad when people say manga and anime isn't real art. Well, if that's not real art, then what is real art to you? Realism? By that logic, Jackson Pollock, Marth Rothko, those people, are they not real artists? And they're in goddamn museums. Like, where's the logic in that? A lot of new kinds of art now than in previous decades. Like, I took a class on new media art, which is very much Adobe Cloud based, where we made digital products and like Adobe Cloud services and it was like really cool to learn and also there's photography there's conceptual art installation art the list can go on and it really raises the question of what is art well i'm going to tell you what isn't art ai i don't like ai it's just you can just hire real artists to do that and it would look so much better than ai art because There's more soul into it. There's more hard work. Someone made it. And then I feel like this kind of goes into like, you know, handmade products having more value than like machine made products, but I'm not here to talk about that. Seven. Artists are too emotional. Uh, I prefer the word temperamental because, you know, I'd be in the zone working, drawing, doing whatever. And then something interrupts my focus and I get so mad and grumpy if that happens. So am I the only one who goes through that? You're just chilling and something interrupts you and just throws you off. This is a little off topic, but I'm autistic. So being thrown off does not help one bit with me trying to focus. And it just does not help my mood one bit and I'm thrown off. And I think autism has something to do with that could be said for a couple creative people with very artsy minds because my dad was very much like that he wasn't a visual artist but he did a lot of music on the side you know eight digital art is not real art it's just like any other medium you just have to learn the tools you just have to learn what they do you have to learn the basics and then you can like experiment for a little bit but you know there are going to be people who just don't get it, just don't pay them any mind. They're just not too understanding of the fact that the world is going to be more digital from here. Like, I didn't think we were going to have online classes, then 2020 hit. Then, I don't know. That was weird. <laughs> Thank you guys who responded to my question sticker, who responded to me in the Discord about what assumptions people have about artists and art and all that stuff. And I really appreciate you watching this video. If you could, leave a like, subscribe, see you around, baby.